7, 9, 11, 14, 18. 5, 9, 10, 16, 20. 5, 6, 7, 8, 17. 1, 7, 13, 15, 20. 2, 6, 10, 15, 18. 4, 8, 13, 16, 18. 4, 8. 13, 16, 18. 2, 5, 13, 14, 19. 4, 7, 10, 12, 19. Four, sorry, 4, 7, 10, 12, 19. How many more? Uh, a five. lot. Okay. 3, 4, 6, 14, 20. 4, 5, 11, 18, 21. 3, 10, 11, 13, 17. 2, 3, 7, 16, 21. And 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Okay, good. So are you going to make us do this on the Shh, good. Um, we are taping. You have a new, nice zoom out. Whole board view, or whole uh, big view. He's just saying, Not welcome really. to Street Math. I'm your host, Mr. Rose. <laughs> like <laughs> good. Um, good. Good. Um, so, this is number, what number is this? 29. 29. This is number 29 from page like something. 444. Four, four. And the goal is, um, could, this is reportedly a finite projective plane. Specifically, it is a finite projective plane of order 4. And we have precisely Therefore, like 21 lines, yeah? Yeah. Okay, and according to the algorithm which we kind of did in class yesterday, um, I but we sort of like awkwardly ran out of time, um, where it got started getting easy. Uh, this will convert us to a set of four by four Latin squares, three of them, all of which are mutually orthogonal, cool? Okay, so without further ado, let's go. Uh, can I get a green and a blue from the backboard? Uh, step one, uh, this is a finite projective plane. What we can do is arbitrarily designate, can, I, can all the people who like are wandering around or whatever like sit down or maybe like all but one or two and people who are not paying attention to me, you need to be silent. Uh, so like whisper inaudibly. All right, good. I arbitrarily designate one of the lines to be my line at infinity. I propose that we take the line with the biggest numbers. Yes. I don't have to, but I might as well. Yeah. That's probably what you all did. Um, so, let's kill that line. Uh, what I have decided, now, there's, there are no real points at infinity in a finite projective plane. There's nothing about infinity in any of the axioms. Any point can be a point at infinity or a non-infinity point. But once I decide that that is the line at infinity, then I'm deciding arbitrarily that points 17 through 21 are all points at infinity. Follow? Yeah. Good. So, by the way, before I continue any further, raise your hand if you think you did this whole problem and you got it right, and you got everything under control. One, two, three, four. And a half. Five-ish. Okay. Daniel's have thought about doing it. Is that correct? Good. All right. What I will now do is I will eliminate all these infinity points from every single one of these lines. So basically, as these lines already came to me, kind of in, uh, in numerical order, then I am just conveniently uh, getting rid of uh, the biggest point from each um, set. Also notice that these are sets of points. So there's nothing particular about the way in which I chose to like write the numbers. The order that they're in is irrelevant. All right, now what I'm going to do is group the lines by their equivalence class. And so all the lines that went through point 17 are all the lines that like kind of were parallel-ish um, and we met at the point uh, at infinity called 17, which I've now eliminated. Cool? Bless you. Uh, and I continue to do this with 18, la 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 la, uh, la 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 la. And uh, with 19, and, and there should be four of each, right? right? Three, four. And there should be five equivalence classes total. So then uh, the ones with 21, uh, 2, 3, 4. 
And now the ones with 21, 1, 2, 3, 4. All right. Now I am going to write all of these in a big chart. But as I write it in a big chart, I'm making certain strong choices. Um, so first I will use 17, although there's nothing particular about that. And I have a lot of lines. All the purples had a 17 in them. But I kind of like really, really want my first line to be 1, 2, 3, 4. And it isn't, and so I am sad. It is 1, 2, 4, 9. Well, I'm going to write it as 1, 2, 9, 4. And I'm going to worry about that, why I need that 9 to be a 3 later. Okay? And then I'm going to write uh, another green line. You have. This one should be what? What's up? You have five, six, seven. Uh, yes. I now go to my next purple, and it's 5, 6, 7, 8, which brings me wonderful joy because I needed that to be 5, 6, 7, 8. I need my next one to be uh, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now I have one that is um, 3, 10, 11, 13. So that means I'm sad. Um, but I write that as 3, because I'm going to convert that 3 into a 9, um, uh, 10, 11, and that 13 makes me really sad, but I'm going to worry about it later. And then the last purple one is uh, 12, 14, 15, 16, which I need to be 13, uh, wait, sorry, I need it to be, well, wait, wait, I can't, I, I, it already is 12, 14, 15, 16. All right, good. Now, um, I have a problem. And so let's fix that problem now. Oh, but first, let's write all, who has like really good handwriting? <laughs> that was fat looking. Oh, yeah. I don't want to like do this myself, but I guess I have to. No, I have really good hearing. All right, good. So let's go to 18. Now. <laughs> I don't know if that's a joke. Uh, wait, can you guys like cooperate? So like, just be quiet. Thank you. Good. I want to do this like fast and get it over. All right. Uh, good. Uh, so now I go to the 18s. The 18s are the reds, and I think I'm gonna write this. No, I'm. I'm also looking ahead a little bit because. I know that I need these to be in a particular form. And this, the hard part of this algorithm is putting row two, is making row one and row two work. Row one, row, row two rather, needs to be, it's gonna go one, and then two is gonna end up here, three here, four here. And so this will be five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and 13, 14, 15, 16. Knowing in advance that it needs to go that way, what's the line that looks the most like 1, 5, 9, 13? It's this 1, 3, 5, 12 guy, right? So I'm going to write this as 1, 5, um, uh, 3, 12. And this one, I need a 2, 6, 10. Um, so I'm going to write this as 2, 6, 10, 15. You guys kind of see what's happening here? Uh, and then this is um, uh, the next red line is 3, 7, 11, 15. What's the one that looks down there, right? So 3, which is really like a 9, 7, 11, 14. And then over here, I need um, the last one. What's the one I haven't four, used eight, yet? 4, 8, 13, 16. All right, good. Um, all right, now I'm just going to chill for a minute. Would I need a volunteer? Sorry, can you just do this? You have decent hammering, right? Can you yeah. copy down in neat columns, keeping my spacing, uh, the, the row for 19, 20, and 21? Doing it arbitrarily. He now, in an arbitrary manner, writes, uh, he's going through the 19 equivalence class, because we did 17 and 18 already. So he's just going through the the four sets of blue lines, and he's putting them in, however he feels like. Yes. Cool? Say cool. cool. Okay, and then he's going to do the same thing with the others. All right. Meanwhile, while he does that... Those are the worst brackets I've ever seen. Please do not say anything annoying, distracting, or counterproductive. All right. While he does that, we shall perform some switches. And what's the first switch that we must perform? Nine. Yeah, then nine needs to be a three. So as soon as he's done writing, I'm going to convert every 9 to a 3 and every 3 to a 9. 
And what's the other thing I need to do? Um, I need every 12 needs to be a 13, and every 13 needs to be a 12. Okay, so, and then I guess, okay, so I'm going to just go one step at a time, but yes, I'm going to need to do that in a second also. Is this helping going over this to people who are lost? Mm -hmm. Okay, good, so I'm just kind of like stalling, waiting for him to finish now. No pressure. Yeah, are we in framing stuff? So? Uh, he is, you're not. Good. <laughs> oh. Once he finishes writing, I think we no longer need the original lines anymore. We've just extracted all the information out of them that we needed. Cool? Alright, so now you just need to be really careful that you do all this crap right. So I'm going to use another color so that I don't, so that I can tell what was like a first edit versus second edit situation. Follow? Alright, so I'm just going to start already even though he's still writing. Right, let's give him the... Yeah. Good job. Round of applause for Siddharth. Okay. Uh, I'm now going to replace every 9 with a 3 and every 3 with a 9 as fast as I can without screwing up. So, I already screwed up. What was that? 3, three, 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 three 9. Here, that was kind of like not worth doing because uh, they're just like sitting there in the same line. So like I don't need, like the orders are relevant, right? So like just who cares? It's just a set of points. Uh, this 9 is a 3, this 9 is a 3, this 9 is a 3, this 3 is a 9, the first three of this 3 is a 9, uh, this 3 is a 9, and that's it. What's wrong? Good. Alright, so I should have... I guess every point is on like should be on four normal lines, and so I should have replaced. But like basically, that's like good. I think good. All right. So now I have um, forced by by a convenient choice of points. I've essentially relabeled the names of my original points in such a way that I have forced um, the top row of my chart to look like this. And I can always do that. Good so far? Yes. Okay. Oh, now I have to fix 12 and 13. So let's do that. So this is a 12. This is a 13. This is a 12. This is a 13. Do, 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 do. No, should I screw it up? What was that? That was 13. That was 2, 5, something, 14. That was a 13. So now it's a 12. And the one seven something there's a, there's fifteen. A, there's a twelve in that row. That so should be a twelve two. Yeah, it becomes a twelve. They yeah. both are. That was also two five thirteen fourteen. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So those are both twelve. You can also no, 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 no. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. This twelve is a thirteen, and these two I don't need to switch because they're chill. So I think I have screwed up. One five nine. This twelve needs to be a thirteen as well. Okay, good. It's a dangerous process, but I have succeeded in that I have just written a um, bunch of 13s, I hope. One, two, three, four. Yeah, good. Looks good. All right. So, check, check. Why did I do all this? Um, because I, oh, and I'm not done yet even, right? Because I need 14 and 15 to be different, um, which uh, I can achieve by swapping them. Yeah. Oh no, wait, sorry, sorry, sorry. I would like to I would like to distinguish between different moves I have now. This step one of the algorithm is now completed in that I forced row one to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 12, 12, 30, 40, 15, 16. Cool? Okay. I, and that is just a simple relabeling of points. No high level thinking involved. Just relabeling of points. Agreed? Okay, now. I move on to stage two. Stage two is I want row two to look like 1, 5, 9, 13, 2, 6, 10, 14, et cetera, et cetera. So now I have to do something a little bit more complicated, which here it already worked. Here it's almost right, here it's almost right, and here it's almost right. Um, it's right now. This actually is right. So I really need to make one change, which is I need to change 
uh, 14 and 15. But here it's not so innocent anymore, right? Because, um, like, this is an equivalence class. But here it's like, okay, right? Because 14 and 15 are just two points in this line. And so I'm not changing anything about their properties by changing them all from one name to another. Good. So I will now, in a new color, say uh, blue, I'll change every 14 to a 15 and every 15 to a 14. So this 15 is a 14, uh, this 15 is a 14, um, this 14 is a 15, this 15 is a 14, this 14 is a 15, um, this 14 is a 15, and this 15 is a 14. One more. Yeah, one more. Then I missed one. Where else did I miss? The important fifth. Oh, like the real ones. Yeah. So that's like a fifteen, and that's. Good. What's up, Dylan? Just like do it both by rows, and you don't like forget. That's a good suggestion. Um, <laughs> good. All right. Now that I did all that. I'm ready to like, that was like the hard part. Now I'm ready to like actually make progress with the algorithm. And the algorithm is just to reverse like the yesterday steps, basically. And to make the column, are you over here now? To uh, make the columns, yeah. one, two, three. This is, by the way, if you're actually uh, watching someone in ninth period right now, this is the point where the bell rang, right when we were about to like be done. I'm watching someone now. Um, and, uh, so what am I now supposed to do? I'm supposed to go through each row of this chart and like reverse it by writing in what block of columns does the one appear in row one? Okay, in what block of columns does the one appear? In block one. Block one as in I'm calling this whole thing block one. And in what block does the two appear? Also in block one, in what block does the three appear? Because these are all ones, and then these are all twos, because I forced row one to look that way, and so it's just true that the nine, 10, 11, 12 all appear in block three, and this all appears in block four. Okay, and now we go to row two, which I also forced to look a certain way. So this is gonna have a fixed output. In what block does the one appear? It appears in block one. What, uh, in what block does the two appear? In block two, in what block does the three appear? Three. Block three, in what block does the four appear? Four. Block four, and then et cetera, right? I just did this, so this just ends up being one, two, three, four. Cool? And now we get to the real deal, which is in what block does the three appear? Uh, or sorry, in row three, in what block does the one appear? Two. Now I have to like look and stuff. Yeah. Block two. Three, three, three. One. Four. And there's always, each um, of these numbers is going to appear in precisely one uh, of the, each of the four blocks. Why? Now it's some moment, some actual math. Why do I know that I'm going to get a permutation of one through four here? Because, no, because yeah. it's the... Take the points 1, 2, 3, and 4. Well, they appear on this line, 1, 2, 3, 4. This line can only intersect any other line once. Exactly. Exactly. It does intersect every line exactly once. And so it will intersect each of these four lines exactly once. Right? So it's going to appear exactly once in each of the four lines in any given block. All right, good. Finishing this off, because we're getting, because we actually want to have some progress and stuff. This is, um, let's do this really fast. What is it? Three, two, uh, four, one. One, four, two, Are we trusting Rafi or is someone at least checking? People are zoning out. One, four, one, four, two, is that right? Yeah. That's right. Good. Keep up, keep going. Four. Yep. Yes. Good. All right. Two more rows, and then we're done. Well, how about row four? Two, three, three, one, two, four. Wait, no, it's three, one, two, four. Three, one, two, four. 
Is that right? Yeah. I'm in row four. Two, yeah, that four, looks good. Two, four, two, This is like four two one three. Four two one three. Easier to just do it all at once in your brain. And um, like one three four two. All right, last one. Uh, now it's like two three one four one. Four one two three. And finally, one, four, two. All right, and now these are these final three rows. This makes a Latin square. This makes a Latin square, and this makes a Latin square. You just not a Latin square. Ah, what happened? Um, I think should be four, one, three, two. Yeah, we swap seven. For here? Yeah, I believe. Yeah. I blame others. Uh, four, one, three two. three, two. Better now? Yes. Okay, good. If this didn't work, I was gonna just cry on camera. <laughs> three, two, four, one, one, four, two, three, four, one, three, two. There's Latin square number one. Now using row four, uh, I get. Stuff. Latin square number two, and um, using row five, um, I get Latin square number three. And they are all mutually orthogonal, and we win. Okay, good. Questions? Good. Goodbye, period nine. I commend you if you watch to the end of that.